All right, everyone, this is it. We are back in the Stanley Cup Finals for the first time in, I think, a while. I'm pretty sure we've been getting destroyed in the playoffs in any recent attempt. That could very well be a lie, but that's just me going based off of what I remember currently. So we have the Edmonton Oilers here, everybody, and let's go have a look at the playoff tree just to show you guys that once more. So if we head over to here, you can see that Edmonton, did not ever go to any Game 7s, but... Actually, I think we did. Never mind, I take it back. <laughs> yeah, we went to Game 7 in Round 1, but... Actually, that's not even Round 1, is it? Can I scroll? No, that's Round 1, yeah. So, Round 1, we went to Game 7, and then we swept Toronto, beat the Capitals in 6, and the Oilers have been pretty consistent with a 4-1, 4-2, and 4-2 series. So, yeah, we're coming in. To the finals with the exact same record. I believe we might have already looked at their team, but let's go look at it again. Because I remember saying that they were one above us and that their team didn't look that scary compared to some of the other teams we have played so far. But, I mean, they do still have a very deep team nonetheless. A good team. And they have two pretty good goalies, if I recall properly. Let's go to goalies. Boom. Yep, they got Hellebuck at 87 and then Bednar at 81. So, Hellebuck is definitely... A good goaltender, 932, 198 GAA. That is insane. All right, I just went to grab my glasses quick so I can see a little bit better and hopefully not get a headache. So yeah, here are our lines. They are very good. Defensively, once again, we're not amazing there, but we're still solid. And then in net, the goaltender, 98 overall, that plays like a 72. So the fifth seed Florida Panthers, well, I guess fifth in the league, and the 12th placed Edmonton Oilers going head-to-head -head in the Stanley Cup Finals here. Let's go ahead, start game number one. Let's see how the simulation treats us. Period one, okay, 0-0. Zero, zero. Period two, one nothing Oilers heading into period number three. That's okay, that's fine. Here it is, the Stanley Cup Finals, the Florida Panthers. We are actually on the penalty kill currently which I did not know that, but, I mean, doesn't make that much of a difference. It's a little bit of a difference, but nothing too big. Hopefully, we can kill this off here quick and then get a goal to tie this bad boy up. Or we can just do that part shorthanded. Holy crap, are you kidding me? Jack, you absolute legend. Look at this. Cuts out, just walks out like it's nobody's business, fakes the forehand, hella buck, bit hard. Like, holy crap, he chomped down on that fake right there. He's just going to go backhand and tuck it home, and just like that, we have ourselves a tie game. Game one, I guess, Stanley Cup Finals, and yeah, it's a 1-1 hockey game in the third period here. And we are still shorthanded, so that is also a thing. Here come the Oilers. Have not received a shot on net just yet from them. I'm surprised I didn't go over the glass. I thought for sure it was headed out, but no. Managed to stay in. Tara Vine and over to Jones. Power play is now over for the Oilers. They blew it! And here comes Stranges, the captain of the Florida Panthers. Goes to dump it in, but gets bumped off the puck. Tara Vinen now, carrying it up the wing to Wenberg. He carries it across the blue line. Goes for a cross crease pass there. Not the strongest one, though. That'll be poked away by the flow ride of defense. Stranges. Walking in. Great pass. Good attempt, guys. That was so close. We almost had it. Had the lead right at the tip of our fingertips, but just couldn't quite make it work. Oh, no. Oh, no. What a save. I'm so... Lucky, actually, that I say that. By the way, if I say anything that just doesn't make any sense, and, you know, it's just very strange, it's early. Again, I'm recording this video very early, so that is my excuse for that. Bertuzzi, walking in. There we go. There's a nice shot and a good save as well. Yamamoto behind the net. That's going to go all the way back to Clark on defense. To steal in the slot, goes take a shot. That's going to get blocked. Yamamoto with a shot. It'll be saved by yours truly, and the puck has found its way out of our zone. Oh, that's a dirty hit, referee. That is a dirty hit. Suspend that man. Sam Steele, over. He actually got that pass off. Holy crap, I saved it somehow, I think. I'm pretty sure anyway. Let me go double check after we get this puck out. All right, I'm, I'm curious. I want to see if I got a piece of this. I think I pretty much was, you know, the only possible way that wasn't... Yeah, okay, I for sure saved this. Boom, boom, and hide that. There we go. This could be... Thumbnail action right here. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that seems very thumbnail-y. And then boom, takes a shot. I think that hit me in the face. It did. It. Wow. What an absolute dick. Hits me in the mask. Unbelievable. This is what I think of that, Bertuzzi. Get back here. Well, I'm actually not gonna fight Bert, but, you know, I will be... That might go in. It's in the net. 
That ended up going in the nets, but unfortunately it's not going to count now, I suppose. That's lame. All right, nope. And throw an uppercut. Hella buck, you got caught. You got caught. There it is. We are getting up close and personal. Throw that punch. I know you want to. Oh my goodness, he actually got me and then dodged. This is not good. This is not good, guys. Throw it. Yo, he's throwing the weirdest punches. Come on, hella buck. This, yo, this guy's got like 1,000% fighting skill. Holy crap. Whoever built this character definitely went for that category. If I can get a dodge in here, that might be it. That was close. I was worried. I was actually very worried for that one. Ref, get out of my way. Yeah, that's what I thought. You too, Evan. Elias has the puck, and he is going to get ruined trying to walk in front of the net there. Now here comes Ehlers. Walks in, takes a shot. That's a save. He had someone streaking in on the mid there as well, but wasn't able to get the rebound and took the shot. Instead of going for the pass, which was probably wise because I think our defense probably would have had him anyway. Big draw win. That's not going to work out though. Danton Heinen loses the puck. Well, I guess he sort of won that battle. To Madison Bowie. Now here come the Oilers again. So far, Tino Manny has been playing quite well. And I am really hoping that we can keep that up. Because I want my stats to look better. I want it to be in the 900s. You know, I don't want my save percentage to be 8-something. Because that is gross. It just is. Keep up the pressure here, Panthers. Wow, they just let Pulak walk right in. But he didn't really do a whole lot with it, unfortunately. Here come the Edmonton Oilers once more. He's going to make that pass, I think. Yamamoto. He's going to go for the pass. That's not the pass I was expecting, and wow, what a shot. Okay, well, that's not good. Just like that, we are back down by one. Yamamoto walked in, sort of held up a little bit there, waited for Sam Steele to come crashing in, gives him the pass. Yeah, they opened up and just gave him that zone, and wow, he completely sniped that one. I wasn't even in, you know, like a bad position there. He just straight up ruined me. Precision placement. Boom. Right between the glove and the mask. And that's going to put the Oilers up by one. Oh, wait, they have a 3-4-2. Who's going to be the better 3-4, Hosang? You better go out there. Oh, now we give him a breakaway. Now we give him a breakaway. Yes! Holy crap, he saved on the line. I thought the poke check, like, it was, it was going in. It was straight up crawling its way towards the net. And luckily, our defenseman just yeeted his stick in there somehow and pulled it out. I am so happy that he managed to do that. Edmonton back in again. Yamamoto receives a pass, but will not make anything of it. Here come the Panthers. Brady Kachuk in the middle. Gets it back. Oh, goes for a shot so close. Good try, guys. We're getting lots of attempts here. I can still definitely see us tying this up and head to overtime. As long as I don't get scored on again, which I am definitely hail marrying that. It's a very, very likely situation that I'll get scored on again. Kachuk in the middle to Strong, just not going to get... I think that's Kachuk, right? I'm just seeing seven and assuming it's him. And looking at the jersey, can't really tell for sure, but it kind of looks like the length of the name could be Kachuk as well. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to keep calling him Kachuk, even if it isn't. Teravine into Wenberg, goes for a deke. That's not going to work. Florida's defense going to shut them down. Oh, that was, uh, that was, you know, tried to pin him against the boards there, but didn't quite get it. Panthers get the puck in deep. Not pulling Tino just yet. They might now. No, they will not. Pedersen gets knocked over. Lots of battles happening by the boards there. But unfortunately, we were not able to come out with it. Tara Vinen. It's going to be offside. All right. So, yeah, I'm still going to be in the net, I'm assuming, because the puck is right there. But if we get possession and it's going that way, I'm assuming that I should get pulled. But really, in this game, who knows? Yeah, there we go. All right. Get off the ice. Let's go. Oh, no. Get off the ice now before they score. And I'm responsible for it. Nice. That's going to... Oh, yeah, that's a goal. 100%. Well, there goes game one. It's all right. It's not the... You know, losing game one is not the worst thing in the world. What a save. Holy crap. All right. So even though I did let in that one goal from Steel, the snipe, I think I'm still doing pretty good here overall. Hustle. Hustle. Get off the ice. I mean, we're not going to tie it up, but just in case they score and I'm still on the ice. I don't know if that's even how it actually works. Like, if that would count against me or not, but I'm just assuming that it would. All right. GG's. That's game one, tons of hockey left. Oh, I actually got third star with a 926 save percentage, so I did quite well. Uh, yeah, they had 28 shots, and I only let in two goals, and they had the empty netter, so that's decent. Oh, wow. I don't think... I, actually, no, I've definitely seen this one where I'm not at the front, but normally I am. Anyway, that is what it is. We are down by one game here in the Stanley Cup Finals, but I am not even worried. Well, let's not waste any time. Let's go for game number two here.
Come on, Panthers. First period is going to be 2-1. Nice. I like that. I like that. 4-2. Great stuff. So basically, I just need to play like I did last game and we should be mint. Let's go. Game two before we head to Edmonton. We have a 1-0 series right now, but ooh, we are winning this game 4-2. Third period has just begun. We are definitely in good shape for this matchup, but I mean, they could come out flying and get two quick ones. Plus, we have the worst lead in hockey, so <laughs> who knows what's going to happen. Hosang with a nice pass. Going to spin around and shoot. Good job, Petty. Love it, but no, not going to go in. Sam Steele has it now. Over to Clark. Clark's going to carry it up, get the puck taken off of him. Nice job, Florida. Great job, guys. Take it from them. Don't even let them generate anything. Here comes Bertuzzi on the wing. He's going to get hit up against the boards, and we're going to have to take the puck right back again. They're doing a great job so far, not letting them get anything going here. It's good. We have Shifley with it. Going to take a shot. Nice try. Not going to go in, though. Now, Wenberg carrying the puck against John Carlson. Thought he was going to take a shot, but he didn't. He sort of... Wussed out last second. Wenberg has it. Oh no, I don't like this. I don't like this. In the middle of the Ehlers. Gonna have it taken off him. Goes for a shot. That'll get blocked by some Florida player. Who even knows at this point? There was just a wall of them in front of that. Shifley has it. What's he gonna do? Shifley goes for the shot. But it was too little too late. Edmonton was already all over him. And they took the puck. But here they come the other way. No! Oh no, we're gonna be shorthanded. That's not good. Need a huge draw win here. Come on, nice. I love that out of you. Sam Steele with it again. Oh no, dude, this guy. He is a scoring machine. I can already tell. Bertuzzi across the blue line. Cuts back, goes for a pass to Sam Steele, who's gonna release another shot. I can only imagine that's gonna go in. I'll pass it over to you. You got time. You got time. Make it work. Great stuff. Great stuff. How long's left? 10 seconds left in their power play. So we've pretty much killed it here, unless Yamamoto snipes me. Or Steele does one of the two. Good job, 2-5. All right. Well, penalty has been eliminated. And what a deke from freaking Pedersen. What a beauty. All right, face off outside of our zone. 10 minutes ago, we are halfway through this third period. We have a two-goal lead still. That remains. And I'm really hoping to keep that intact for as long as possible. But if we can get, you know, a three-goal lead, I'm definitely down. And we're taking another penalty. Of course we are. All right, was that boarding? Seriously? No one even went down. Whatever. It is what it is. Okay. 4-2. Power play for the Oilers again here. Oh, no. They won that one. Rupe hints. Goes to take a shot. But no. Florida's defense says not today. Here they come once again. Nice job, defense. I love that. It's great stuff. We are playing phenomenal right now. Man, I can't wait till I get a PS5 and play the next game. Because I am sick and tired of hearing all the joystick clicking and clacking from these xbox one controllers i think is the next xbox i don't even know what it is is it series x maybe i think that's the next gen xbox right but anyway yeah so i haven't had any of those controllers yet i haven't used it so i have no idea if they are also quiet that almost went in and that was weak oh boy but yeah i have no idea if they are also like that but i've used a ps5 controller a lot for rocket league and the joysticks when it hits you know the the part the corner, the round part of the joystick, when you basically max it out. I guess I'm trying to think of how to explain it. But yeah, when you hit the plastic part of it, it doesn't make a loud noise like this Xbox controller. It clicks and clacks like no tomorrow. But, oh, thank you for saving that. That was a little scary. Thought he was going to pop fly it over me somehow. But thankfully, that did not occur. We are all over them right now. It's insane. Like absolute domination occurring. In the Edmonton Oilers zone right now. I, the fact that we haven't scored yet is incredible. Yamamoto, good job. Defense stepping up there. Managed to get it off of him. And we are headed back the other way again. Three and a half to go here. The two goal lead remains so far. And we are playing very well. So I really think we'd have to have something crazy go wrong here. In order for us to lose this one. But it's definitely still possible. Nice pass. But... Florida's defense once again shutting it down before they could do anything. Sam Steele, this guy. Oh no, what a pass across the ice. What a save. I am not sure that that shot was, you know, even going to come through. I was so uncertain, but he did get it. And luckily it was a weak one. Because if that was like bottom corner there, I think it probably would have gone in. But luckily it wasn't. So yeah, we are still with our two goal lead and a minute and a half left here. Pulling their 10 to Yamamoto has it. In the corner. Oh, he walks out. He walks out. That's the worst. I think I actually saved it. That's elite. Nice. Come on, Panthers. Get that puck out. Go for the empty net. 
Get us that three goal lead. What a shot by the Vatsanin imposter. Are you kidding me? Boom. I think it's safe to say now that that sort of seals the deal. I really don't see them scoring three goals in 35 seconds. I shouldn't say it's impossible, but I mean, it, <laughs> am I selling too early again? Are they going to come in and just snipe me three times real quick? Wenberg. Oh no, don't do it. Don't you dare do it. Carries it behind the net. Five seconds to go. So we've definitely won the game. At this point, they're just trying to ruin my stats. All right, lit. We didn't have that happen. I don't know how many shots they had though. I never actually looked. So let's see. Did they have like no shots? I always press the wrong damn one. Oh, they had 28 shots, only two goals. Another stellar performance from Tino Mance. There it is. The boys are fired up and we are headed to Edmonton now in order to keep this series going. And as I mentioned, we are now tied in the series 1-1. So yeah, it's basically a best of five now heading to Edmonton. We've got two games at their barn. Hopefully we can steal at least one there again. And yeah, then we'll be in good shape. But only time will tell, guys. They are a good team, but I do think that, you know, they aren't as talented as some of the other teams we've been going against. So I think that we are in a pretty good predicament here. Also, our GAA creeping its way to under three and our save percentage creeping its way up to 900. So that is very good as well. Things are looking up. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video where we continue to take on the Edmonton Oilers in the year whatever this is. We're in 2028 now, so I don't know, like year eight or something like that? Year seven? I don't know. Anyways, guys, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.